On January 2nd, 1959, Luna 1 was launched in an attempt to impact the moon, which would have ensured that the Soviet Union, not the United States, was the first to reach another celestial body. This was the next step in the space race, and came only one year and two months after the Soviet Union had launched the world's first satellite, Sputnik 1, and reaped the public relations reward of proving that it was ahead of the United States in space technology. After that victory, Soviet chief designer Sergei Korolev was under pressure to continue producing new space accomplishments in parallel to military missile needs. Impacting the moon would have demonstrated that the Soviets not only had the more powerful rockets, but also the better guidance systems, an area the United States thought it had the lead on. Due to a program error resulting in an incorrect upper stage burn though, Luna 1 ended up flying by the moon at an altitude of roughly 6,000 kilometers rather than crashing into it. As a result, it was launched at escape velocity and eventually exited Earth's sphere of influence, becoming a tiny new object in orbit around the Sun, the first artificial planet, if you will. Luna 2 would successfully crash into the moon eight months later, and while the Universal Newsreel coverage reports the event, the simulation it shows is of a V2-style rocket, revealing how little the American public knew about the scale of Soviet rockets and their capabilities. Through the Sputnik, Luna, and Vostok programs, Americans were consistently surprised by Soviet achievements, partly because the sheer size of the R7-type rockets being larger than the Thor and Atlas systems on the American side was obscured. The uncertainty in Soviet capabilities highlighted by the space race ensured that the American public was far more cautious about the nuclear arms race than it otherwise might have been, helping keep the Cold War cold. Thank you for watching Today in Space History for January 2nd.